professional growth according to the experience there is no single way or formula which determines the path leading to personal success all of us possess different goals and priorities it means that diverse activities and attitudes will give us a good feeling about ourselves similarly we possess diverse natural strength and weaknesses which are an integral part of our intrinsic personality type does the question arise as to how we can feel successful in our lives the following discussion will help us in determining and archiving the goal of professional growth understanding what is important for us everybody has a different idea of how to be successful in his or her life the knowledge about self is one of the most commonest ways to achieve personal success several individuals are hung up on others idea about attaining success however they do not know about what is actually important to them this is absolutely normal all of us have significant role models and influencers whose basic values may not match ours in this case it is significant to distinguish between what we learned is really important and what we individually believe to be actually important is because of diversity in perspective if you work hard to meet somebody else concept of success and remain unaware of any inconsistent messages from our own psyche then we will remain exhausted and unhappy thus a major step towards achieving personal success is to realize what is truly important to us identifying our weaknesses without ignoring them although enhancing our self knowledge and attaining our actual goals can be extremely liberating we should not do away with the rules of the society of which we are a part we should know that the value systems pursued by others are no less important than our own further we should realize and accept that fact that we are the part of a society where certain personality types and behaviors are most suitable for certain tasks just consider the fact that in some circumstances it is more appropriate and successful to display compassion and caring that is feeling instead of impersonal logic thinking Similarly there are situations which call for just opposite in our order to make a decision in which the more subjective point of view of the feeling function is unsuitable and unproductive in circumstances that call for compassion and awareness of others emotions individuals with a preference for feeling will have a natural advantage over thinkers in contrast individuals with a preference for thinking will have a natural advantage over feelers in circumstances which requires the ability to take a decision depending upon impersonal data when our knowledge about our and others personality type increases we realize and understand the fact why people react in a different way in the in diverse situations if we identify that a person is unable to take an impersonal decision and does not know about human perspective we should realize that he is a feeler this individual does not use the properly sorry property of thinking well and that is why he is behaving in this manner conversely in the case of feelers when the when they come across a situation in which they have to take up an impersonal approach they should not feel that they lack the property of making decisions based on logic and facts this type of excuse for behavior is 
definitely an easy way out of a particular state of affairs but imposes the weakness leading to weaker mentality and personality making every effort to establish balance when the dominant function overtakes the personality in any kind of personality type so much so that the other functions become slaves to the former it leads to the emergence of many weaknesses associated with the given personality type however it is necessary for every personality to be governed by its dominant function it leads to a problem when the supporting functions are not permitted to fully grow on their own for they are very busy serving the master in such circumstances a personality can become rather imbalanced a dominant function behaves like a king sitting on the dinner table and ordering his ministers to serve him food although they may have some important duties to do in this way the king's instant needs are being met and so he is accept acceptably happy but he is an unsuccessful king for him everything and everybody exists just to serve him he does not reach success beyond his daily needs as he cannot visualize beyond his own requirements the whole kingdom suffers similarly a personality that has a goal of serving the dominant function at the cost of other considerations often leads to a person who is imbalanced in many cases the weaknesses linked to the given type are often reasonably apparent to others and outside the person's natural powers this kind of a strong imbalance is not common and may be the consequence of non-stop and tremendous stress many individuals will come across the time when they are stressed to the point of severe imbalance individuals who come across this regular regularly have issues that need to be addressed and should look for help however there are people who show both the strengths and weaknesses of their type it is natural and perfectly acceptable that each personality type is governed by a dominant function and that the other functions support the ruling function by definition a personality requires a dominant function However, a personality having a well-developed and effective dominant function which is supported by well-trained and educated supportive functions will be more successful than the rest. Thus, we conclude that balance and success are comparative terms. They have diverse meaning for each personality type. However, these terms are used in one true statement for all types. Balance is the key to success. How to be ready for personal growth and success? There is no ready-made method that will make us a successful individual. Psychological type method is an influential aid in our quest for brilliance, but it is not the real solution. It is a mold that will aid us to increase our perceptive about human nature and increased understanding of ourselves and others will aid us to find follow or expand our path in a given situation a consciousness and approval of the fact that one personality function may be more efficient than another function will help us to appreciate the significance of personal growth in our life Carl Jung discovered a method of personal growth that he named individualization. It is fundamentally the careful realization of our real self beyond the ego, which is presented by our conscious self. Our work to help people develop themselves is basically the effort to help them to understand that their individual perspectives Conscious ideas are only a little part of who they are. The more they make an effort to develop and protect 
this superficial self the more they get a uh, from their real self this awareness helps a psyche in several concrete ways it is also a constructive step towards encouraging a psyche that is open to the method of individualization